Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Code Forces Round 853 and the first problem that is Serval and Mocha Saray. So let's see the first problem that is uh, Serval and Mocha. So they have a positive integer array that is A, consisting of only natural numbers and they give two conditions. One is good and the second one is beautiful. Now how did they define good array? She told that a good array, an array is good if and only if the GCD, greatest common divisor of all the elements in A is no more than its length. It's a bit confusing. That means generally the GCD of all the elements from A1 to AN, like whatever number you take, is no more than its length. That means the GCD of the value should be less than or equal to the length of the array. So that's all. No more than means GCD should not be greater than length, but it can be less than or equal to this. That is the first one. And for an array of at least two positive integers, it is beautiful. This beautiful if and only if all of its prefixes whose length is no less than two are good again. So let's try this with an example. Let's say you have a number like one, two, three. Okay, let it be till four. And what are all the valid prefixes here? That is one. Prefixes is nothing but you take one number and keep appending the other numbers. So that is called as prefix. Now they are telling that a prefix should have at least two numbers. That means this is valid, this is valid and this is valid. That means the length should be at least two. So these are the numbers we got and an array is beautiful if all of its prefixes whose length is no less than two, at least two are good. This is not normal good. This is the goods condition. What is the condition? GCD of array should be less than or equal to length of the array. That means GCD of 1 comma 2 is less than or equal to length of this. What is the length of this? This is 2. And GCD of 1, 2, 3 should be less than or equal to 3. Length of this. And GCD of similarly, GCD of 1, 2, 3, 4 should be less than or equal to 4. That's what they are telling. Simple. Now, we just need to know that that means after taking all the valid prefixes we have to say that this should be good this should be good this should be good you have to generate all those uh, you have to assume like that now 36 is not good here they told 36 is an array because 36 gcd is 3 but the length is greater than 2 it should be less than or equal to 2 so this is false now 1 2 4 is both good and beautiful why it's both good and beautiful because if you write 1 2 4 what are the valid prefixes at least two elements 1 2 and 1 2 4 1 2 is good right because gcd of 1 2 is 1 less than or equal to length 2 gcd of 1 2 4 is 1 less than or equal to length 3 so that's why they told it is good 3 6 1 is good you can just figure out that now mocha gives you the gift of n positive integers he wants you to know whether array a could be reordered uh, so that uh, we can uh, just get that uh, it can be beautiful or not that's what she is asking so she is just uh, generally telling that uh, you have 1 2 3 4 right you can take any permutation it can be like 4 3 2 1 or 1 3 2 4 or it can be 1 2 3 4 only but when she generates when she gives an array and the other person generates all those valid sequences all those should be good so our ask is like whether is it possible or not now let's come back to one step further so i hope you understood what is good array and what is beautiful our aim is to perform a beautiful array whether it's possible or not it's, it's simple yes or no we don't have to uh, generate anything or not so for that we'll take a very simple example let's take a very trivial example and let's say one two one two three and one two three four now We'll start from the very basic step that is 1 2. If this needs to be good, this should be GCD of 1 comma 2 is less than or equal to length, right? So always GCD should be 1 or 2. I'm not telling this one, okay? This is the GCD's value is 1 or GCD's value can be 2. Across all array, suppose it can be 10, 20, 30, 40, and this is 10, 20, and this is 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, and 30, and 40. GCD of 10, 20 is less than or equal to 2. So whether this is possible or not, across any set of arrays, after we take the permutation. Now, GCD of 10, 20, 30 is less than or equal to 3. So here it can be 1 or 2 or 3. Here we have two possibilities, here we have three possibilities. Now, I can definitely say that if 
we can derive two numbers that is having one or two then all the below numbers will be satisfied right that means if suppose let's say the gcd is one can this gcd increase because these are the same numbers these are prefix can this gcd increase you can't get something like three because one is already the smallest number that we derived here i am just taking an example not 10 20 exactly but any number if you are able to get one then any number you add to the gcd of one then it will be one only if two any number you add to two suppose if you add four it will be two if you add five it will be one so any number that you add to a small number it will be either be the divisor or it will decrease so i just need to find out two elements out of the whole array so that i am assuming these two elements will be the starting two numbers how am i going to go that it's very simple so uh, here as you see right the n value is just 100 here that means you can do n square you can perform all the uh, n square operations that means all the possibilities you it can be 10 comma 30 20 comma 40 like 10 comma 30 10 comma 40 10 comma 20 20 comma 30 20 comma 40 and see that are there any two elements are there any two elements where gcd of those two elements is less than or equal to 2 if this is valid then you just come out of the loop and say that and just print yes okay this is valid what does this 2 mean means we are uh, we are just assigning these to the starting element so 10 and 20 is there means these are the starting elements so if this is the smallest number then automatically all the prefixes will be good if the first prefix is good all the prefix will be good then let me quickly show you how did we how can we code this so this is the accepted solution you i'll just pin this in the comment section as well and description so uh, i am taking all the arrays then i am iterating the for loop that is from i equal to 0 to n and j equal to i plus 1 to n so uh, if it is the zero element i'll take 1 2 3 4 like that then i'll take the first element i'll take second third and fourth i'll take the gcd of everything and check whether are there any two elements that is having gcd less than or equal to 2 or not if it is there i'll just come out of the loop and print yes so that's it guys i hope uh, this video will be useful for you uh, thank you